Hello, my name is Dennis and I'll be showing you how to install the Steam CMD tool and install Left 4 Dead 2 using it. Steam CMD is a command line tool to install and update game servers from Steam. For, th uh, for this video we will be installing and uh, running Left 4 Dead 2 using minimums on a virtual machine. For this you will need a 10 gig hard drive, although 30 will be used in this virtual machine because I haven't quite uh, because I do have some add-ons I was going to throw on here later on and 256 megs of memory okay let's get started first of all I'm going to go ahead and start up my virtual machine I already pre-prepped it in the meantime while that's starting up I want you to go ahead and go over to this website here developer.valvesoftware.com forward slash wiki forward slash steam cmd this will give you the uh, basic instructions that you need to install it uh, but what we need here is actually the link that you see here in orange I'm gonna need that here I'm gonna kind of uh, run this in the background I've uh, if you haven't can't really tell I've reduced my monitor resolution so it's easier to see what I'm typing in so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and log in like I said this is a virtual machine but this is the same thing I use on my physical machine so it's a, a, a GUI list server First of all, uh, I'm going to do is go ahead and create a user, and we're going to call this Left 4 Dead 2. Now, I was kind of expecting that because uh, I'm having troubles with some <laughs> one of my virtual machines here. Uh, you can go ahead and ignore that because it's just complaining that I'm not using my uh, my root access, and I probably should have logged in as root first. Okay. Uh, for a password, I'm just going to use password. Very generic. Normally, you want to secure this account as much as you want. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to root here. And I'm just going to go to the USR slash games directory. This is where I typically install games. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the uh, Left 4 Dead 2 user it has created. So now we're at in the uh, home directory. Actually, we should be in the home directory. Yeah. Where am I? Yeah. We're in the home directory. And normally I would install this in USR, USR slash games because I use the games user. But since we used uh, created a whole new user just for this one process, uh, this helped keep the account a little bit more secure. Now we're going to go ahead and download the tool. As you can see, that's why I have it up like this. Okay, now let's just download the tool. We just use wget to uh, install it, as you can see up here. As you can see, it's uh, been downloaded. Now we're going to go ahead and expand it out. So we're just typing in tar. I use tab so it auto completes. As you can see, it uh, expanded out to a folder and two files. Now, as it makes a note here, I'm uh, it talking. It's talking about 64-bit li Unix Linux distros, and you'll probably need to use the 32-bit uh, li library. Well, I have the 64-bit server here, so I'm going to go ahead and install the library. In that case, I'm going to have to log out. IA32 libs. It's going to give you a huge list. Just say yes. this may take a while so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here while I go ahead and update okay and we're back uh, it just got done installing the 32-bit uh, 32 li 32 library files needed to actually install uh, run steam now in case you missed the command I typed in here all I typed in here was a sudo if you're not logged in as root app dash get space install space IA 32 dash LIBS and that'll install the libraries needed to go ahead and uh, 
allow 32-bit application to run on a 64-bit server. Now let's go ahead and switch back over to the uh, Left 4 Dead 2 user. I'm going to switch back to the home directory. Now we should be able to install a, our first game. So, uh, according to the website here, under Steam CMD, it gives you simple instructions on how to do that. First thing you're going to do is uh, type in this .steamcmd.csh. So it's the uh, one right above here. It's just going to do a quick update of itself. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and log in. Oh, forget about that. Okay, you can type in your login with your uh, your full Steam username or not, or you can just use anonymous. But in this case, for Left 4 Dead 2, we actually need to log in with our username. Uh, the reason I, I don't know why they require a username for the, the username and password for this specific game as opposed to the other games that are allowed for no anonymous. But hey, that's a Valve thing, I guess. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video here while I enter in my password. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, forgot to put in that uh, I have to reauthorize this for since it's a virtual machine. It's never been on uh, my Steam account before. It's gonna send you uh, send me a uh, Steam guard code for author's authentication, which is what I put in. The so one-time code send, uh, Steam sends out to uh, make sure that it's uh, authenticated against your account. Now I put in uh, my credentials here, as you can see. It let me in here. So now I'm logged in with my with my account. At this point, we're going to go ahead and start installing Left 4 Dead 2. So what we're going to do is scroll down here and under this section here where it says uh, supported servers, you'll see the IDs of what you're looking for is the Left 4 Dead 2 dedicated server here. And you need this number 222860. Uh, because the ones that they listed up here don't actually work uh, they have a large list of games you can install but only the one that's listed here will work for Left 4 Dead 2 so let's go ahead and get started with that one so just type in app update or underscore update 222 or I'm sorry force install directory dot slash and uh, basically it's going to install it uh, in whatever directory you want to install it to and it does not like spaces for some odd reason even with uh, I haven't tried it with the backslash yet but we're just going to go ahead and uh, put it under the left 4 dead 2 directory and always end it with another backslash now we're going to go ahead and do app update and the number that you see here 222860 Now also put in validate so that it can validate the files as it's downloading them. Now this is going to take a while. As I said here, uh, I have I'm operating off of a uh, 30 gig hard drive, but minimum you need is actually about seven or eight gigs. Uh, but typically I will install quite a bit of add-ons, including a uh, source mod, meta mod, and a bunch of maps. Uh, that's what takes up quite a bit of room. Now this is going to take a while. As you can see, this uh, second number is 0 0.33 or so, and that keeps incrementing. That's actually your percent downloaded. So this is actually going to take a while. Uh, so during that time, I'm just going to show you what the virtual machine specs are at. So you can see I'm actually operating off of 256 megs, and I have a 30 gig hard drive. So I'm not really messing with you using a uh, using much better specs or anything like that. Now, since this is probably going to take a good hour, maybe half hour, maybe less, uh, to install everything, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video once again, so I apologize for that, uh, just to skip a bunch of waiting. All right? Hopefully, I'll see you back in half an hour. Okay, and we're back. That took a little longer than expected, a uh, couple hours, uh, probably a little, there's uh, some network problems going on in the area, I found out. But in any case, the uh, installation completed, and as you can see, it created a directory L4D2 uh, after the installation completed. Now, I went ahead and uh, changed the permissions, as you'll see here in a second. 
Now, for some odd reason or another, when you uh, Steam CMD installs games, it makes everything executable for some odd reason. So I just went ahead and uh, entered the directories and reset them so they're they're back at to normal permissions level, so they're not all executable, for, like for a text file, for instance. But in this case, just to prove that it does work, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do the uh, typical thing to run it. It's up to you at this point to go and configure it uh, to as you uh, would like and just to prove that it will work under a virtual machine. Now it's just uh, dot slash SRCDS run no console uh, plus HLTV I think no it's a dash game Yeah, I have to bring up this website just for a uh, reference. Where'd it go? No HLTV. Now, this is just to see, show that this uh, game server is working. On my physical server, I already have everything scripted, so as you can see, it is running under 256 megs of RAM on a 30 gigabyte hard drive. It, right now, it's not going to ever pick up any players because I've got my router forwarding all my ports to my physical server, not this virtual one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, quit here. As you can see, there's 239 mags, or 256 basically. And uh, and that's with a virtual machine. So if I wanted to create more, or I wanted to do su certain other options, I like th that's all handled by the config files, but just uh, showing how this is done with a Steam CMD now. Uh, yes, there were a few problems, but I can probably re-edit these out of the video. Uh, not that I probably will either way, but as you can see, it's under a virtual machine, 10, 20 gig, uh, 20 gig, 20, 30 gig hard drive, 256 megs of RAM, uh, for running a Left 4 Dead server, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Now, if you run into some problems or in tries uh, where the install fails, uh, for some odd reason, if you just restart the actual install process, it'll pick up where it left off. It was one of the problems I ran across while we're waiting. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.